The Avengers get new headshots. And an old video game movie gets the boot. The reboot, that is. It's good, I swear. I get it. It's good, it's good. Okay, fine. <laughs> Hello Film Junkie fans! Welcome back to another episode of The Film Junkie, starring me, David the Film Junkie. Wow, I'm talking really fast. It has nothing to do with the monster I just shoved in my eyes! Anyways guys, as always, I thank you for joining me. If you're new to The Film Junkie, basically I talk about your movie news, give my opinions, and you listen to me of everything I freaking say. Or else. Anyways guys, let's talk some movie news! Arrested Development is returning to TV! <laughs> and they're also gonna be making a movie about it! <laughs> This has been reported by Ron Howard, the producer and the narrator of the series. They're looking to bring it back for one more season and then making a movie featuring the Blues family. I recently started watching Arrested Development on Netflix because they have all just three seasons, which I guess it died too early. Sad. I'm almost at the end of season two and Jesus, it's like my new favorite show. If you haven't watched it yet and you have Netflix, start watching. Freaking hilarious. Ron Howard in an interview said that Nothing is set in stone yet. Did I say that with a lisp? Nothing set in stone yet. But the creators definitely want to bring the whole cast back, do one more season, and then make a movie. <laughs> oh my god, Jason Bateman! <laughs> remix and remix. Film friends, there's a Mortal Kombat reboot in the works. Now, the original Mortal Kombat movie that came out in the early 90s, I thought, in my opinion, was the best video game adaptation movie. Because it seems like anytime they adapt a video game to a movie, it freaking sucks! Really bad! <laughs> Super Mario Bros., Street Fighter, Resident Evil. Yeah, that's right, I said Resident Evil. And a little fun fact for you, the director of the Mortal Kombat movie that came out in the 90s is actually the same writer-director of the Resident Evil movies. Paul W.S. Anderson. The guy sucks! First of all, I don't think the Resident Evil movies are that great. He really f***ed up Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, he's the one that did that. Alien vs. Predator made a PG-13, made some weird movie with some black chick who almost had sex with one of the Predators! <gasps> My god, every Resident Evil movie that's coming out is just sucking, sucking more and more! Seriously, who's greenlighting all these movies? Well, hopefully they have a good story and a good director for this reboot. Because Mortal Kombat has always been my favorite game growing up. The original movie was actually really good. Please don't f*** this one up! Yes, folks, a Twilight Zone movie is in the works right now. If you guys didn't see the original Twilight Zone movie, it had uh, four different segments with four different directors, each individually directing each segment. Spielberg being one of them. Pretty awesome movie. Came out in the 80s. I remember the last segment, the guy on the plane with the alien thing, like destroying the wing. Scared the crap at me when I was little. Still does now. I have rubber sheets. Warner Brothers has three directors that they're looking at to direct this movie. One being Michael Bay, one being Christopher Nolan, and the last being Alfonso Cuaron. If you don't know who he is, he directed one of the Harry Potters and the movie Children of Men, which is actually pretty good. Pretty artsy-fartsy. But anyways, duh! Everybody knows which one the best is right there, Warner Brothers. Oh yeah, Christopher Nolan. Uh, yeah, Christopher Nolan. Come on, what would a Michael Bay Twilight Zone movie be like? Ah! Holy crap, there's so many freaking aliens! Holy crap, there's zombies everywhere! It explodes and I can't even f***ing <laughs> see! Alfonso Cuaron? This is boring. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. This is f***ing <laughs> awesome. So yeah, obviously my choice would be Christopher Nolan. Isn't that right, Stone Me from two shows ago? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> he seriously hasn't moved since. <laughs> Alright, in Tarantino news, Kurt Russell has replaced Kevin Costner in Django. Perfect choice, and I have nothing funny to say about it. footage has been released from the Los Angeles shootings of The Dark Knight Rises. Links down below in the description next to my knees. <laughs> Shut up. Check them out, they're pretty amazing. A friend of mine actually was telling me that a friend of his was driving out to LA, got stuck in a bunch of traffic, and they were wondering, what the hell's going on? I know it's LA, but it's a weekend, it shouldn't be this bad. And I guess they were sitting there in the car, and then all of a sudden they see Batman flying by in the bat pod. Holy crap! If that was me, basically this is how it would have went. Oh my god, this traffic sucks! I'm so Facebooking and tweeting this. Was that 
Batman? Follow that bad pod! And it might have been a little over dramatic, but still, pretty close. They released new photos of the Avengers. Pretty much just headshots of each superhero. Check the photos out. Personally, I still think they were rushing this movie. We had two Iron Man movies, but only one of everyone else. But that's Hollywood for you. They just want your money, folks. Then check out this picture of Scarlett Johansson in her leather outfit. Ooh. <laughs> Anybody catch that new picture she took of herself? Yeah, her phone was hacked. Yeah, actually, I haven't even seen the pictures. Ta, you thought a picture was gonna show up behind me, didn't you? <laughs> well, that was gonna be the bit, but I heard she had the FBI cracking down on that stuff. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have the pictures. Bring it, bitches. All right, back to have scores. Real Steel got the top spot this week with $27.3 million. The other newcomer, Ides of March, came in second with $10.5 million. Dolphin Tail was number three with $9.1 million. Moneyball came in fourth with $7.5 million. And rounding off the top five was 50-50 with $5.7 million. All right, guys, that's all I thought was important in the movie world this week. Oh, wait, does anybody care about Resident Evil 5? Didn't think so. Thank you, Paul W.S. Anderson! Can you see I got a little bit of a hatred? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about. I've been using this a lot, this show. It's fake, I swear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to a Twitter fan and friend, Anna. Put her name right there. She gave the best description of what my show is all about. Uniquely, awesomely, batastically weird. Woo! Uniquely, awesomely, batastically, because she's a fellow Batman lover herself, weird. <laughs> I don't know why she said I'm weird. Anyways, Anna, thank you for that description. You are awesome! Alright guys, well that's all I got this week. Please hit that like button. Show love with the like, as I always say, because I'd like to love your face. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also down in the link below, check out my other show that just premiered over the weekend. The, the Android, Android show. show. Does that scare anybody else? Over at uh, the Android Spin channel. Basically just like this, but with the Android news. But I had to tone it down just a little bit. Different kind of audience, pretty crazy. Bunch of nerds. Also follow me on Twitter. I don't really say much because I don't have that many followers. But as soon as I start getting more followers, I'll be twatting the crap out of you guys. Wait, that didn't sound right. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm David the Film Junkie, and you've had your movie fix for the week. I'm magically delicious. That was the first thing that popped in my head.